So here we have my NI200 wire. Um, the company is getting a little bit popular among the VTTV team. Uh, so I've cut a bit off and here it is. Right. So here we have it. Let's get that autofocus working. Go on. All right, you can't quite see, can't quite see, but um, because of the light, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting, my, I'm getting a lot of light being reflected off there. But yes, those coils are spaced; they're not touching. So, and that is the whole point with nickel is not to have your wires touching. So let's put it in. So there we have our coil rough almost perfectly lined up over the large uh, put it around bread because we've got the large external air hole here well you can see it what's for there so you're not getting the entire airflow over the coil mainly because the diameter the diameter of the wire is so small, therefore it's it's not the 26 gauge that I'm using. This is, um, what was it, 24? I can't remember. Anyway, by the by. Um, so I'm going to whip this up as normal. I'm going to be using uh, rayon like I did on the cam file build. And then I'm going to stick it on my DNA 40. So, sorry, a bit of a fog here. Right, I've got it on my Reaper Shark without tipping everything over. I've used the same juice and I've got space coils. There, there you go, space coils uh, set at 30 watts uh, 0.22. So this, it did say new coil, same coil, but because it's pretty much exactly the same as the nickel head in there it uh, didn't pick it up oh didn't ask me to change but there you go and it's coming in at temperature protected there we are so what um what I might actually do is uh, change it Change the temperature up. Sorry, juice on my fingers. Change the temperature up to oh, to 10, 220, 220, I think. Hmm. Okay. I'm quite confused now. Um, I guess I need to tighten something up. So, bear with me. There it is. Uh, let's make sure everything is connected. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right. Uh, now I have. The new coil so it's new coil up reading at 0 0.17 and 220 there we go that's working nicely so I'm gonna juice it up again I'm gonna put the top cap on and have a toot Sure, it's nice and wet. Now the uh, now the top cap has still got the one side full open and the bottom airflow. So let me line them up. There we go. Nice and clicked in. So I've got it at this side. Oh, you know the camera. Don't break your wrist. So that's what we've got. Oh. 
that's what I said in my previous DNA 40 video if um, well the last time I did a video with the DNA 40 it was my first time with the ZNA 50 DNA 4 to DNA 40 upgrade um, but Uh, yeah, that's it's smoother. It's smoother again than Campbell, but most people ex most people know that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this on here over the weekend. It's Friday now. I'm going to come back on Monday. Uh, mon well, my Monday, and use it over the weekend and give my opinions on it. And then what I'll do after that is I'm going to do exactly the same build, Camphal dual coil build in the V4 and the V2 because uh, I'm probably not going to be using nickel on this but it's always worth looking into. So um, cheerio for now. It's Monday and I've been on the device since well, since the last piece of VT, as you notice, I've changed, and this is to recap. It's got the nickel coil in. Uh, temperature control has been working fine, and what I have found out is that the best airflow setting, and I've tried all the combinations. Well, a lot of combinations with the bottom flip bottom shut off just the sides open and all that so what I've actually myself think is the best just to have in this setting and that is one side fully open and the bottom feed uh, bottom feed is just open on its biggest hole so it's restricting the airflow underneath to one single hole rather than three and yeah so what I'm gonna do next is do another comparison side by side of the version 2 which I have and this one so it's going to be dual coil cam file I'm gonna make it as identical as possible so yeah, I'm going to crack on with that. Here we are then, um, essentially identical setups, identical number of turns on each coil, on each of these, oh, don't spin around, yeah so I've got 26 gauge which is about 0.4 mil wire and I've used six winds around a three mil screwdriver and I am even using the same working material which is rayon for each of them and the same juice too so this is all about um, the differences between each of the RDAs themselves so I have the version 4 on your left version 2 on your right and obviously you could probably tell just by the screws anyway but that's also the added difference uh, so what have I done to you know, done to tweak it myself I've actually made an effort to get a gap underneath each of the coils to get the air flow on each of them roughly the same when I say roughly the same I usually do it anyway so I'm gonna stick this I'm gonna stick this on my uh, Sigali 100 box identical wattage uh, they are identical resistances according to the Sigali 100 they're both at 0.3 ohms so let's get these on and Let's have a toot. First up, the version 2. Uh, 
I really should have screwed it on beforehand. So let's set it at the equivalent of 4.2 volts, which would be, come on, which would be, let's call it 50 watts on both of them. They're coming out at 4.1. There we are there. And my off focus isn't working. Ah, there we go. 50 watts, 4.1 volts. Right, I'm gonna have all the airflow open. Line up each of the sides with the coils. So, and what I'm gonna be using is the proprietary drip airflow control for each of them and then and then what I'm gonna do is yeah give my opinion on it it's not an expert opinion but it's mine and I hope it'll help you so there we are both sides full open watch that I look away I'm looking at a monitor so Excuse me. Wet it again. Using the same juice as I said in the previous part and for it I'm using Vapor Shark's Trixie. I quite like it. And and with Rayon it seems to hold the juice really well. So full open again. Fifty watts. Right, it's from my point of view I'm creating quite a dense cloud because I'm just seeing the vapour on top of itself while looking at it and from the side it doesn't look that thick because I'm using my monitor, um, my laptop monitor to look at the cloud when I let go but as this it's not about clouds, it's just the differences between the two and what the improvements are. So, well, to see if the improvements are any good, that is. Um, right, um, so it's full open at the bottom too. There we go. Right, make sure it's properly wet. All air holes open, you can see me through that. Downside, I'm, my fingers are getting really slippy. Right, listen out for the sound differences. Ah. You can also see that it's slightly raised on this one because I had uh, the dark horse on it before and I haven't changed the contact pin. Silly. But it doesn't make any difference in the reading on the device. Right, immediately that feels more dense to me. Um, the flavour is identical. Yes, I'm getting the cottony taste on both of them, I'm, but I'm getting the flavour through as what it should be. Um, do I think that the airflow is better? Yeah, I can. I can feel it. I can. It may not sound like the airflow is giving you much difference. Yes, I make my coils so they kind of crackle but um, this feels smoother it's 
producing a lot more cloud because of the increased air and that's what cloud chasers want they want ultimate airflow um i'm gonna try something a little bit off the cuff i'm gonna close the bottom feed off but keep both sides open And believe it or not, that's creating an ever so slightly denser cloud. One more for luck, shall we? Yeah, flavor flavor spot on. Cloud is denser with the bot bottom feed closed off. So, um my thoughts on this the mutation xv4 if you like your airflow it gives it to you and you thought the v2 and the v3 even though there's no change between them apart from the screws um you thought that this had ridiculous airflow the v4 takes it to the next level it takes your customization to the next level uh, you can you can restrict the flow at the bottom, restrict the flow at the sides. Um, with the nickel build I showed you earlier, cut off one side completely because I thought there was no point as it's a single coil. So it worked well there. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep 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 using this because it right now I have both windows open and it's still quite misty so yeah this chucks clouds and the juice is about 50 50 so imagine what it was like when it's close to 100% VG yeah it's a cloud chasers device it's a cloud chasers RDA so I'd recommend it to all my Cloud Chaser friends uh, if they haven't got it already. Uh, if you are looking for a dripper that you can restrict the airflow on as much as you want, because you remember you still get the plugs at the bottom to completely knock it off, and you can turn the AFC so you can close one one side off. You can close both sides off and just use the bottom like I will now. really hot but some people might well, it's not really hot it's quite warm sorry about that so yeah the customize the way this dripper can work for you in ways that you want is just ridiculous so yeah that's the mutation xv4 toot toot <laughs>